Hey, you guys. So I'm back with a quick message from the Lord. God had dropped something in my spirit while I was straightening up my kitchen. And excuse me, y'all. God was just dealing with me a lot about servants, being a servant. And God clearly said to me, he was like, in order to be an effective leader, you must first love being a servant. Y'all, we got a lot of people that want to be leaders, but they don't know how to be servants. And this is not just in ministry or just like out in the public. This is also within like relationships, within marriages. And everybody want to lead, but nobody want to be a servant. And God looks for servants. True servants, I'm going to be honest with you. they rather be in the back. They don't want to be in the front. Because they love being a servant. But God takes his servants from the back. And bring them to the front. Because he can trust them with leadership. Because they love being a servant. When you love being a servant... And then God elevates you to leadership. You'll be still able to be a servant to others. It won't be just about you. It'll be to where you'll be able to lead together with people. Transformational leadership. God dropped that in my spirit. But pretty much a leader works alongside with the service of what other people that are coming to help. Leaders don't just give orders. Leaders are supposed to be the first example of what they are looking for in a servant and someone else to help them. And God just clearly dropped in my spirit. He was just like, in order for you to be an effective leader, you must first learn you must first love being a servant. A lot of people don't want to serve each other no more. They don't want to serve people no more. A lot of people are all about self. And then God dropped in my spirit. Me, That's why we have too many chiefs and not enough Indians. You know that saying, too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Because everybody wants to be a leader. Nobody wants to be a servant. People want to get recognized for the leadership. But don't want to put the work in. Where... Nine times out of ten, when you have an effective leader, that person has someone behind them backing them. That person has a team. That person have what we, you know, what God calls us servants behind the scenes putting things together. And they love what they do. But some of the leaders get the most recognition. We as God's children, we're going to have to really learn in this season, this hour, how to still be servants, Okay. A lot of us, God is elevating us to a new level. And God don't want us to forget how to be a servant. When we get to this place of leadership that God is calling us to. He don't want us to forget how to be a servant. Jesus, even though he was the greatest of them all that walked this earth, he still was a servant. We're going to have to keep that same mentality. We're going to have to keep that same level of humility. Because that's what's going to help us to continue to do what we're doing. And that's what's going to help us to draw the souls of God's children. And help the building of God's kingdom. You got to love, love being a servant. You got to love serving and helping others. If you don't, how can you be a good leader to somebody? How will you be able to relate to these people if you can't get on their level? And God is saying, y'all, in order to get, be an effective leader, you must first learn to love or you must first love being a servant. And even if you are a servant now, you have to love, you got to fall in love with being a servant. Fall in love with it. Fall in love with being a servant. 
Y'all, it comes so naturally to me whenever I go places and I see people that needs help that I just extend a hand. They don't have to ask me. And sometimes they be like, no, you don't. Yes, I do. Because that's the servant within me that I'm not going to let you sit here and struggle and get this task done by yourself. Long as I got the strength to do it, I'm going to help you do it. It's the servant in me. Because I know it's not for me. I know it's for a greater good, a higher purpose. Especially when it's something that's coming together for for um, the upbuilding of God's kingdom. Yeah, if I can help you. And I'm right here, hand, all hands on deck. My hands will be on deck helping. That's the servant in me. God needs people like that. He don't need people that want to just do it for the recognition. He needs people who want to do it because they are of a servant. And they see the higher purpose of it. And they want to do it because they know whatever's taking the place is about is going to be used to help glorify God, to help people's souls be saved, to draw people closer to Christ, to help people get the connections and the resources that they need. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I know I talked about a servant before, but in order to be an effective leader, you're going to have to first love being a servant. You're going to have to love serving others all right even within your marriage you're gonna have to learn how to love to be a servant to your husband to your children even in the small things are you cooking and making the home are you cooking home-cooked meals with love are you are you making sure your house is a loving environment for your spouse and for your children those things matter and whether we believe it or not, people can feel whether you do stuff with love or not. It's like the saying, you know, where you go to somebody's house or go to a restaurant and the food turns out to be so amazing, so amazing. You be like, oh, they cook this with love. Oh, they put they put in that. They, you can tell that you can tell they put this cook with this love. Ain't nothing but love in this food. That's how it needs to be when God's children do things. They should be able to feel the love in it. They should be able to feel the love of God in it. So again, in order to be an effective leader, you must first love being a servant. Love what you do. Love how what you do put a smile on other people's face. Love how what you do help somebody to overcome a broken spirit. How it encourages someone to keep going. So I just had to come straight at y'all. God dropped it in my spirit. But... In order to be an effective leader, you must first love being a servant. All right, you guys. I love you all. I pray that you all have an amazing day, and I will chat with you all later.